Konnichiwa, bitches. Dirty boys, your dog E.T. the entertainer checking in right now. My partner Jay Nix now. Before I get to deep pimping right now from Catfish, right. I gotta let y'all know, man, this all happened because of G. Woods, you know what I'm saying? G. Woods set this up. He called me, he said, yo, man, I got a hold of her. She's in town. I didn't even know. You know what I mean? So shout out to G. Woods for setting this up. But this is deep pimping from Catfish. Seven. For all those who do not know who deep pimping is, it's the episode where she presented Bow Wow's picture as if she was Bow Wow to a girl and the dumb bitch fell for it. Spinning racks on Shawty. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. So, there it is. So, shout out to G Woods. We got the first interview. This is your first radio interview? First radio interview, man. Man, we trying to make her a star so she can use that lamb dick on somebody else. Anybody. Any, anybody. As long as she's bad. As long as she's bad, she's getting lambed. Lamb for it. Fat. On this Mike, beautiful Mike. hump day. Home girl boy. <laughs> Speaking of hump day. Right. Hump day. Hump day. On this beautiful hump, 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 hump day, um, we have got the king of lamb skin. King. The, well, the king, queen. Kick, <laughs> queen? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Queen. I don't know how you put it. King, queen. He's a man, girl. More like a mixture. <laughs> More like a mixture. <laughs> how does everybody know who you are? Say your name. D. Let me ask Anthony. you something, girl. Talk to me, bro. How? <laughs> now, I, I appreciate your pimping. I really do. You from the Mac Town, right? You from Aiken? Mac Town, Charlotte. Okay. Now, uh, D pimping. How how long was it that you were uh, catfishing this girl before she realized that, you know? How many months was it? Was it like a, six months? Or? Yeah, about like six months. Six months. Okay, so she thought she was really talking to Bow Wow. Yeah, she really thought she was talking to Bow Wow. So like, did you set that up? Did you be like, hey, hey baby, this is Bow Wow? Well, my cousin was talking to her. I had everything. It was down to the T, like texting her when it comes to sending pictures. Uh -huh. Money, anything, type of information she need, I was there to send it to her to make sure that I had that cover so she would know for a fact she talking about her. So you put this whole elaborate uh, plan together? Yeah, I did. Okay, now, now, all, all, all just so you could get her? Well, not really her. It was more females out there, but it was just. A oh, you, you was that, that was that was like your attracting, like that was like your way to get them. It was like yeah. putting, the, it was baiting the fish hook out there. Yeah, basically. So they you. reached in from the Bow Wow page, and she just interacted and was like, "Hey, I like, I'm a big fan of yours. I like your music and stuff." So she was I did hard. music too, and she was bad. So, so she was the thirstiest one. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Home of the thirsty. Yeah. So she was extra she thirsty, was and because she was extra thirsty. But she was so thirsty, she really believed it. Now, I've seen her. She's not an ugly girl. Yeah, true. But I don't she consider her Bow Wow well. status. Right. Nah, I don't consider her my status necessarily either. But right. at the same time, I figured she could go in the videos and, you know, hand out my mixtape to some of the artists because some of my music sound kind of good. Right. More than some of this. So. so you got music, too? Yeah, I got music. And what what is uh, you got you know what she uh, she's up here sipping right it looked like lean I thought she was on that lean <laughs> she came up here it's warm. It's it's warm. Warm. It's warm. but the way she the way she drinks it is like <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I didn't lean on hey no you gotta understand this station water some good water though yeah, yeah, yeah. we got the best water. <laughs> I mean, uh, any radio station. Any radio station, we got the best water. Okay, number water, one. If we got anything else, we, we got, got some, some good water. water. You know what I'm saying? We might not have chips in our all our machines all the time. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Ramen noodles. Popcorn runs out. Noodles runs out. Matter of fact, the popcorn gets stuck on the other side. Yes, it does. And we have to check the machine to, just to get the popcorn out. But that water always flows. So ATL, if y'all want to call in and talk to the official catfish woman. D pimping. D pimping. D -pimping. Mm -hmm. She is here. And what's your Instagram, D pimping? D pimping. D e e p i m p i n o three one. It's a lot of fake pages out there, but that's the official one. So I'm sure ain't nobody got that one yet. Um, how did you get approached for this show, or like, what happened? How did that, how did that happen? Well, I seen an ad on Craigslist. It was asking. Oh, MTV's advertising shit on Craigslist. Yeah, they, it's it's that bad, man. Yeah. Time well, they was I seen an advertising <laughs> on Craigslist, so I jumped on it because I was dating a girl online at the time. I was pretending to be Bow Wow at that time, uh -huh. but I didn't know the show was gonna come about. So 
once I seen that, I just hit them up like, hey, I'm in the online dating relationship. I told them about the story that had happened, how much money I sent her and everything. So they instantly jumped on it. Wow. <laughs> how's, how's Bow Wow on them even contacted, contacted you? Yeah, actually, they re they've been reaching out all day long trying to get in touch with me. Like, you need some like immediate management. Part. Yeah, like, right? Under right? Dirty Boys, you officially imagine right. Deep Pimping. Deep Pimping is under, um, <laughs> under Dirty Boys Management. All right. <laughs> Yeah, they been reaching out for real. They trying to get me out there for real, like right now. All right, that's that's three racks for her. Plus she needs room and board and travel. Let's and get it. food. Let's food. get it. For real. Yeah. ATL, keep it locked. It's time on the 79. Your episode has definitely turned up the city. Turned up the I city. Know, right? I think it's because <laughs> you used Bow Wow as uh, his picture as the front, you know, the false picture yeah. and somebody fell for it like how do you fall for that like what makes you think that Bow Wow even has the time to like you true true well it was what I was feeding her like I was feeding her nothing but the truth nothing but details that I got from his Instagram and off of Google so it was nothing but true that right. she was following and she was leading by it so so she thought she was it was loving all it. true and I'm out well, it must be telling the truth because he is going to be on 106 and Park tomorrow like yeah. he does his job yeah. and when she doubt me I would like send her money or send her something so she'll be like oh it could be him you know it might be Bow Wow so. how, much would you, how much would you send her at a time well, I met her like in three days. I sent her like three stacks, three, four stacks. She said her grandparents had needed to do something about the mortgage or something. Yeah, so you want to catch I kind of felt bad, out. bro. Right. I kind of felt bad, bro. You know, so right. I was like, all right, go use some money. She was like, do you want it bad? I'm like, nah, you keep you good. Right. Because you got well. Yeah. You, gotta, right. you know, you got to put that. Right. Yeah, I'm deep in it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to put that face card out there. Oh, like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 like of got course. That, that, that chisnack, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Has anybody in Macon hit you up, like your family members? Yeah, they hit me up down there in Macon County, Montezuma. They done hit me up. Like, they showing me nothing but love, nothing but support. I, I see you. Yeah, like, they loving me down there in that hometown right now. <laughs> Hometown deep hip. Yeah, oh they love me right now. So man. what's next after this? I mean, I, I know you got the movie thing coming up, but I mean, this catfish thing is definitely a, it's a 15 minute fame type of thing. So yeah, what's next? Well, next I'm just gonna start working on my career, doing what I need to do, try to you know get my little acting skills up, you know, basically trying to get in these movies, man. So I'm a good actor, man. How, how long you been um been liking girls for? Since I was younger, because my brother, like, he feared me talking to guys. Like, when I used to talk to guys, if, if I be on the phone with a guy, he'd be like, who that is? I'd be like, oh, that's my friend. He'd be like, nah, I don't want you talking to no dude. So he scared you, gay? Yeah, so he scared me. <laughs> scared <laughs> gay. <laughs> Coming to MTV, near. Oh, yeah, like, it went crazy, so. Man, he scared I used to you. get in trouble, man, right, all the time it. for talking to guys, so. That's why. He was like, well, if I can't talk to God, I'll just talk to girls. And I actually had a crush on my third grade teacher, so, you know. It just fell right in the place. Yeah, it fell He's right in the place. He scared me into it. I had a crush. Forget it. Yeah, so, like. Don't fight the feeling. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was fighting me, knowing what I liked, you know? So, I can't help what I liked in that third grade. I, I, I knew what I wanted in that third grade, man. Oh, man, love Fox. <laughs> D-Pip is in the building right now. ATL, right. check in with her, man. 404-741-1079. Yep.